Hey, it's Mike from Party for Crafts back again. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to clean the Xtool P2 laser, the optics, the fans, everything. And if you are a current Glowforge owner, you are going to be jealous. Watch this. Okay, first of all, before we start, I'm going to say put something soft down. Uh, I've seen so many people in cleaning the optics on their lasers end up dropping a lens or a mirror and breaking it. So if you put something soft here and you drop it, you're going to be fine. It won't be any problem at all. So first thing, how do you clean the air assist fan on an Xtool P2 laser? <laughs> there is no air assist fan on an Xtool P2 laser. On the Glowforge, it's so difficult taking off belts and take the whole thing off and clean it from the back and get that belt on without breaking any wheels or pulleys. There is no air assist fan on an Xtool P2 laser. It's very rare. I don't know of any other laser besides the Glowforge that has an air assist fan. The rest of them have air assist pumps somewhere else in the laser that has no access to smoke getting to it and needing to be clean. So scratch that one off the list. There is no air assist fan that needs to be clean. I'll show you later, once I go around the, the reverse of the laser, how to clean the exhaust fan. And you're going to see it's so easy compared to the Glowforge. So let's move on to the optics. So just like any other laser, there's a lens. There are several mirrors that you have to clean. The Glowforge, instead of cleaning mirrors, you clean windows. There's a window that's transparent to the laser that keeps the smoke from getting to the mirrors. So instead of cleaning a mirror, you clean a window. In this case, we have actual mirrors and lenses. So the front pops right off. It's magnetic. The top also pops off and is magnetic. Now I'm going to move this to make it easier for you to see and for me to get to. But keep in mind that a motor and a generator are exactly the same thing. Just a motor, you put electricity in it and it spins. A generator, you spin it and it makes electricity. So when you move this arm or this head, you are turning a motor and that motor is going to generate electricity back into the laser and can damage it. The faster you move the motor, the more electricity you generate. So always move the arm and the head very slowly if you have to move them at all. Don't move them quickly. Uh, sometimes you could even see like the button lights up if you move it too fast. You don't want to do that. So this part pops off. It's also magnetic. It's on there a little bit tighter. So you have to wiggle it to get it off. But there it is. And there's a mirror here. This is the whole camera setup. This is the servo that controls the, the focusing. And then the nozzle with the lens in it is down here. So let's talk about the mirrors first. The mirrors are so simple. They pop right off. They're magnetic. And the whole mirror just pops right off. And there it is. That mirror is really dirty and needed to be cleaned. So I'm going to show you how to do that right here in just a second. Here's what you're going to need for this. You're going to need the highest percentage isopropyl alcohol you could find. This is 91%. I, I would not use the 70% because that's 30% water and it's going to leave the water and the alcohol are going to dissolve stuff and then the water is going to allow it to settle back on your, on your mirrors and give you water spots. You don't want that. Um, and we have some just regular old Q-tips, nothing fancy about them at all. And I just dip the Q-tip in the alcohol and then clean off the mirror. And you'll see it dries really quickly and all of that smoke residue will be gone. And my Chinese laser that has a similar nozzle setup, the nozzle's a little farther from the wood than this is and the air assist blows a little bit harder. So this particular laser, some smoke does get up inside this nozzle and will get to the mirror and the lens. So it's more important in this model of laser to get in there and get that clean. So now I'm satisfied that the alcohol is evaporated. 
And you'll notice there's a notch in the top of this mirror, and you have to make sure the notch goes back the way um, that, it, that it was originally. And in my case, that was facing down. So I'm going to put that notch back in facing down. And since they align these mirrors in the factory, you want to make sure you get that back how it was in the beginning so that your mirrors will be all aligned again. So there it is. It won't turn because I got that notch lined up and it's nice and flat in there as it's supposed to be. All right, let's see how to clean the lens now. So the X-Tool P2 comes with this clever little tool that has a hex at one end, a Phillips screwdriver at the other end. Those are the only two tools that you need to take anything off of this laser. And they give you the tool and it's right there and it's in one piece. You just flip it over when you need it. So in this case, we're going to need the hex. We're going to take these two screws out right here. Here's one. And two. Now this whole nozzle assembly just comes right out. You'll see the air assist hose is still attached to it. So right here, there's a little clip that's holding that in and you have to push down on that clip and then the hose will come out. So press down, pull up, and the hose comes out. So there it is. You can see the lens inside of there. Uh, it doesn't look too dirty, at least from on the top side. The bottom side, however, and the nozzle itself can be dirty even if you don't see anything on the, the top side of the lens. So I'll clean the top of the lens just like I did the mirror. Put some rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip and swipe it. It looks good. Uh, hold it up to some light and I don't think there's any dirt on the bottom of it, but I'll show you how to do it anyhow. There's a screw in ring that holds it down and you need to use your thumb to twist that ring and it'll come and screw right out. I don't know if you can see that really well in the camera, but that ring is almost out. It's a very small ring, so you don't have to twist it so many times. That's the ring. And then there's also like a white um, O-ring or a gasket that's holding that in. And it's important now that we do not um, drop this on any hard surfaces or anything that might be scratchy. So I flipped it out there and I want to show you it came out this way. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but one side is flat and one side is rounded and the rounded side goes up. You want the flat side down. So now I'm just going to get my, my Q-tip. I'm going to go with a clean Q-tip just to be safe. And I'll clean the bottom flat side of this lens. And then I just do the reverse of uh, what I did before. Carefully, carefully drop it back in there. If it doesn't seat properly, you could use your Q-tip to make sure it's that in there properly or uh, you could tap it with your finger make sure you get that white gasket back in there or else the the ring um, could crack it or scratch it when you put it back in this there's one side of the ring that has notches on it that side of the ring has to go up so that you can um, use your thumbnail to tighten it back up at the end and you righty tighty lefty loosey it making sure not to you know, cross thread it and you got it going in there straight. All right, so that's in. Tighten it up a little bit, not too much, and then reverse it. I'll put the hose back in, slide it back on, put the two screws back in. I won't make you watch all that, uh, but you just reverse everything and put it all back together. Okay, I also won't make you watch me um, clean the mirror that's over here. There's a mirror right there. And to get that one, you need to pull the arm slowly forward. And there's a little window right here. You pull that out, you pop that mirror off, clean it, pop it back on. I'm not going to make you watch that whole process, though. So. There's one last mirror. Um, I'm not going to make you sit through that whole process, um, but I will describe how to do it. The last mirror is back here in the back. It would be right through here. And to get it, there's screws. You can see the little labels there, remove the screw, remove the screw. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. You remove those six screws first, and then we'll go around the other side. Then there's five more screws back here. One, two, three, four, five. 
this whole thing pops off and right in there is the other mirror pop it off it's magnetic clean it with a q-tip pop it back on you're good to go all right then we're going to move on to the fan now this is the exciting part and the part that's really going to make Forge owners jealous all right i need to make a correction remember when i said how genius this tool was and you can use it to take apart the entire machine i was wrong you can't take these screws out with it but they are hex screws and i have a hex wrench and the hex wrench just pulls these four screws out And look at this, the fan comes right out. You can access both sides of it and clean it however you want. If you want to use uh, Q-tips and alcohol, use Q-tips and alcohol. If you want to use vinegar, use vinegar. If you want to spray it with contact cleaner, spray it with contact cleaner, but no more trying to get in there with, with heat sink fins in your way, no cutting out grating so that you could access to it. The X Tool P2 really thought of convenience and they put the fan. This fan is pretty clean. I don't even think I'm going to do anything to it. Just pop it right back in, put this back on, put the four screws in, and we are good to go. So while I'm in here cleaning this last mirror, I wanted to show you one more thing that I think was excellent design. So as you can see in here, this mirror is completely clean, not a speck of dust on it. And that tube, not a thing on it. All of the electronics in here are perfectly clean. Why? Because this section of the laser doesn't get any smoke. The fan is down here and it pulls the smoke under this section and right out here. And you never get any smoke in here. So it'll be rare that this mirror gets dirty. You won't have to clean the tube like you do with the, the Glowforge laser. Um, the GYK also have theirs set off back here, um, just like this. But that mirror was perfectly clean because it's back here separated from all the smoke. That's good design. Now, having to take 11 screws out and yank the top off to get to this was not great design. But once you're inside, you realize it's rare that you'll ever have to do that because this whole section is pretty much cut off from any smoke. So you should probably rarely, if ever, have to get in here. Good thinking, X-Tool. So that's it, everybody. That's the whole process. We clean the entire X-Tool P2. That could probably be done in five minutes or so. Pulling the head apart, taking the nozzle off, cleaning the mirror, cleaning the lens, cleaning the other two mirrors. I would just even not put those other screws back in. Leave the cover on the back just pops on and stays by itself. I probably won't even put those screws back in. Four screws to get the fan out, clean it off, pop it back in. You're ready to go. They really thought of convenience when they were designing this laser, the convenience of getting it clean and keeping it clean, and that is awesome. So as we're going through these videos, comparing Glowforge, GYK, and X-Tool, this is definitely a check in the column for X-Tool. Ease of cleaning, by far, X-Tool is the easiest. All right, thank you. See you in the next one.